In today's tutorial, I want to show you how to use the new Lumen Radio Aurora in stage light. First, we connect the lights and we start with the SGM P1. In the flashing DMX address, we see that no signal is arriving at the headlight because it is not connected. Older saved connections can be reset in the menu, under Settings, Wireless DMX. This means that the headlight is ready to accept a new connection. We start the linking function in the Aurora. And now we see the headlight is connected. We are doing the same steps with the Roxy Show. This headlight is also not connected. We enter the menu, Settings, Wireless DMX. Receiver Reset. We start the linking function again in the Aurora. And now the ROX-E show is also connected. Let's talk about the connectivity in stage light, and we start with ArtNet. To do this, the iPad must be connected to the Aurora Wi-Fi access point. This is already the case with me. In Aurora, we see that the access point is active. We also see the IP address and ArtNet is used as the protocol. We check the IP address here in StageLight and see that we are on the same network. Because ArtNet is the default in StageLight, no further settings have to be made. We can start controlling our headlights right away. Let's have a look at Lumen Radio's own Bluetooth protocol. First, we enable Bluetooth in Aurora. In Stage Light, you need the Premium XL or Ultimate package. Then Bluetooth can be activated in the Settings menu. In the Fixture view, we switch to CRMX for the current universe. We see that the Aurora is already recognized and we click to connect. This completes the setup and we can start controlling the lights as before with ArtNet.